Hello, and once again, welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Rebirth with me, the Void Talon. In our last run, we found out just how useful health can be. We've got our Isaac kills on Isaac, Eden, looks like Eve, and that's it. So this time, we're going to try Kane. Moving along down the way. Uh, curse him off the start, why not? I'm a sucker for him. Oh, ninja! <laughs> well, it looks like this run's over. <laughs> and that's why we don't go to curse rooms right off the start. We get Leo. We are stoppy. We can now break through rocks and poop. And we get this awesome hairstyle. Oh, no. Rocking our awesome hair today. Now I know, though, unless I want an HP up and speed down, I have no reason to take something like Thunder Thighs. Flight will just kind of nullify Leo, but Flight is infinitesimally times better, because you can still stomp things. But it does give us the ability to not really have to worry about what we're stepping on. As long as it's not a bomb rock. Which I wondered originally why bomb rocks were put into the game, but it's not really that much. So right now I'm trying to figure out what items I would like to see. So by the way, according to some of the recent patches for the game, one of the things that was fixed was the teleport AI loops for Loki, Loki 2, Blue Baby, Trikes, and I think that's it for teleporting enemies. The problem was originally is that enemies would teleport on top of you. So for like this trike right here, what would happen is his leap would dictate him to go directly to the player's position. This is why trikes seem to fly across the room at lightning speeds. I get Larry Jr. You're the destroyer of poop. Well, I am the destroyer of poop too. Gotcha! <laughs> Easiest way to kill Larry Jr. 101. Blow a bomb in his face. Squishy poop. I like feeling it between my toes. Hi, <sighs> the things that this game makes me say. I swear. There we go. We get a health up. And instantly back to full health. We get the cellar. We get a double. We have an extra key, so I'm going to see what's in here. We get the five. It's early in the run. I'm an idiot. I forgot the five is a forget-me-now. So essentially, I just wasted two keys and nothing more. Now I just lost my Devil Room chance. I am a genius! Oh my goodness, I am smart. Because, yeah, I just lost my item room. And... Yeah. I can slow clap for myself today. Ow. Yeah, I've lost my Devil Room, alright. What do we got? Really? I can't bomb my way into shops anymore? I mean, I guess I'll take the pretty fly, but still, that kind of makes me a little sad. Hmm. Let's not kiss strikes in the face. Not a good idea. Do, 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 do. Me and my singing. I've realized I do that a lot, either when I don't have anything of particular note to speak of, or if I'm really stressed out. You know, what do you guys do when you're stressed, to relieve stress? I know I hum, whistle, sing. Oh, I am about to die. I would really not like to not lose a run right away. Though I will admit it was very dumb of me to just kind of walk right into a fire. We get Dark Bum. 
it was interesting to say the least. So I'm gonna go see what I got up here. You get a three. In a lot of dice room today. What do I get? Rerolls all items on the floor. We get our spirit heart, which is nice. But I've now used up all my keys. Well, how convenient. That was lucky. And again, with the luck. Haunt. I think I could beat him without taking damage. Note, him. Not the ghosts that are with him. I don't consider this part haunt, even though I think the haunt himself could hit you. Yeah, this part I can do. It's a bit of a trick to him. start on Kane with a record two deaths. <laughs> right off the gate. It's an amazing start by me. I blow my chances of getting an extra item with the, with the five room, and then I <laughs> die to the haunt because he spazzed out. Ah, such is life. Speed up. Useful. Ooh, trikes. Don't like them. Let's deal with our groaners first. And get some shots on our trike when we can. There we go. Hi, how are you doing? You're doing in my face? Okay. Gotta love the track in the game sometimes. Let's see what we get. We get some coins. Definitely not enough for a shop yet. Ooh, game, you're mean. Just came off of being able to destroy rocks, and now I get all these goodies that are locked behind rocks. You better have a Leo for me, or you know, give me some thunder thighs. I want, I want to see the return of Thunderclumber. makes us do poison damage on contact, but not the best. It's probably the best of the bean items, though. I mean, I suppose if you're going to take damage that you don't really need to take. Sharknado, I'm going to cry. We, we don't need to start just going, let's make tornadoes out of random animals. Ooh, hi. Well, that was mean. 
I don't like the AI on those enemies, because it's really hard to tell which way they'll move when you kill one of them. Oh, sure, we'll take chocolate milk. Now I just gotta mash the crack out of my keys. If I remember correctly, they made it so that chocolate milk is a tears down if you just mash it like this. Yeah, it's a tears, it's tears up, but it's damage down. So if you actually want real damage, you, ooh, you have to kiss flies with your butt. You actually have to charge it fully to get the effect of the whole thing. Though, now, I'm really going, oh, I hope I get Ipecac. Because chocolate milk and Ipecac is an amazing synergy. It's so much fun to use. I got keys, I got bombs, I don't really need anything else on this floor. Oh look, we're fighting Monstro. Who else would we fight on this floor? It's always Monstro. Like, are you on the second level of the game? If so, fight Monstro. It's been a bit since I played, so I'm kind of concerned about how well I'm playing right now. I've got a decent start, but I've been playing badly. So, I'm actually just going to go see if I can find some health on the rest of the floor here. Speaking of those annoying flies that I don't like their AI of, it's the triangle one that always does it. There we go. Well, a nickel, I'll take that. Ideally, you don't want to spend more than three minutes per floor. Golden poop that I can't reach. Game, how you are awesome. But I can destroy it. And some of the coins will slip out. So now I can go to my shop. And we get... Huh. Bottle of pills. Could be useful, because we do have a speed-up pill in the rotation. It's not a terribly useful item. Or, not useful. It's not a terribly uh, interesting ice item. Hematemesis. But it at least lets us identify most of the pills in our rotation. So we can figure out what those are quickly, and then we can replace it later, potentially. Maybe with something like Head of Krampus that, you know, would actually be useful. Get another nickel. Looks like our chances of moving up to the shop today are going great. Blah. 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 Spitting giant balls of mucus encrusted chocolate milk at you. And that was actually um, Edmund's reasoning behind chocolate milk and soy milk, is that chocolate milk makes your spit all thick and gooey. That's why you have charge shots. Versus soy milk, which does like the antithesis of that, and instead makes your spit all watery and kind of liquidy and, well, not very sticky. So that's why it does, it's a huge damage down. Mom's wig, we can spawn spiders every X number well <laughs> we can you know just crap out spiders everywhere we can do that too holy heck not what I really needed to do but that that soul heart doing double duty for us This room would have been very annoying if I didn't have chocolate milk. Let's get our boss out of the way. It's Mega Fatty. Ew! I almost got pooped on. That fight, that move is very hard to avoid unless you are strafing him. Which is why I always move when fighting Mega Fatty. You're not doing your big Barfy attack very much. Oh, well, I did it. Tail end there. Blocks. We get once one of every item in the game. Missing poster. Death. Bombs are key. That doesn't really do that much for us because our bombs and keys are almost equal. Let's quickly walk around. Caves 1, I like beating Caves 2 by 10 minutes if I'm going for a boss rush, which can be useful or it can be a massive waste of time. I 
don't need a heart. I don't know if visiting page actually does anything, really. Whoop. And go. Another half heart. Get ourselves another pucker butt, which is gonna die pretty quick. A fairly good kisser of pucker butts. Or killer of pucker butts. Not kisser of pucker butts, no. I don't kiss butt. I am not a butt kisser. And I guess that's it for this floor. We didn't quite make enough coins to go to our shop, so let's get our butts out of here. We've got two minutes to beat the next floor. We blew. And down we go into the blackness. Get the catacombs, which is a slightly bigger floor. You hit yourself. Thank you. Get that out of here. I want none of it. Oops, wrong button. Sure. I'll take more keys. I like keys more than I like bombs. Could use a damage up pretty big. Temperance, may you be pure of heart. We'll spawn a blood donation machine. It'll also make me raise my voice a couple octaves. As I needlessly freak out. Woo hoo woo hoo to you too. I don't know why I just did that. Oh god, I can't tell what spiders are mine! I don't know why I like running when I shoot these. I guess it makes me feel like I'm getting more velocity, so I'm getting more damage, even though it doesn't really do anything for me. Leave. What we're going to do is we're going to spawn that and use one bomb. And hopefully get some money. Which we did. We got a lot of money out of that. Very nice. Let's go to our shop over here. We get item martyr, which every time we're hit gives us one charge on the thing. You know what? Let's do it. Don't break. Please don't break. Please don't break. Please don't break. Please. I love you. Please keep going. Keep taking my money. Take all my money. Please. Let's get it. Five, four, three, two, one. Ding! I broke it on 300. Didn't get anything out of it, but I broke it. So at least I feel like I've done something. I have donated to my future. I think it's... So I'm guessing 500 maybe? I've kind of, I've deliberately not looked up the statistics behind a lot of stuff in the game later on, because I don't want to spoil myself. I, I, I actually enjoy not having everything about the game spoiled about it, because then my runs are more genuine as I learn more about the game through going. You know, I've had a certain something spoiled. Ooh. This is interesting. Oh! Keep that out of here. Can I please just kill the hollow? Thank you. Give myself a range up and a double room. Will we get the missing page? Um, I don't think so. I don't think so, Satan. I'm loving all the spiders I'm getting out of my hair. So far, we're kind of on time. We're going to need to book it through the Necropolis in Depths 2, though. It could be done, but we're definitely cutting it close. And this room just always kind of sucks. For not taking damage in. Really, game? I don't need troll bombs. I really don't need them. go. Getting lots of keys. Hey look, we got Leo again. Oh, interesting. Alright, let's just waltz our way over here as quick as we can. Oh wow, that was lucky. That was extremely lucky. I'm 
not going to bother stepping on all the mushrooms for pills because we already have our bottle of pills. And we need to get out of here. I think I just got squishy toes. Oh yeah, we're barely ahead of our, of our time limit here. Depths, good. It's easier. By only a mild margin. Oh, come on. I really would love Ipecac. There we go. Dimesis. I don't know why I hit that there. That was a terrible idea. speed clear mode right now because I really just want to get that boss rush because the boss rush holds the highest chance to have something amazing for us. Which means... <gasps> oh yeah, long range spitting for the win. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's got the biggest chance to give us some severe power boost. At least of stuff... Whoa! Okay. That I can do right this moment. Hoping to find my item room quickly. Really? Really? Don't like dead ends. Don't like doing that either. I only found a boss, which is always a good thing to find. Yeah, let's just uh, beat this boss and get myself out of here. Bombs are key. Yeah, I've got a lot of them. Good thing, I hate the gate. get our double room, we get another range up. I really need that item room, though. Ah, oh, good, our item room. Ah, but this is not a great room. Because now I bet you I got more of them over here. Yeah, I did. Okay, good. Little gish. Nice. And we are done with this floor. We're on a good time track right now. Uh, I already missed those bombs. And down we go. Whee! Yep, just a little ahead. And we get the Necropolis. Great. We get Curse of the I Don't Even Know. Asia, I believe, is what this curse is. I have to not get hit once on my way to mom. If this is a bedroom, then... so I can't get spirit hearts from this? Really? You used to be able to get spirit hearts from those. That makes me sad. There we go. I'm out of here. being a little bit paranoid on not being fast enough right now, but what you got for me? Three. Rerolls all items on the floor. Oh, that was close. Oh, God. Masks and hearts. Hearts first, then. Oh, well, there goes my double room chance. Royal colors, we're pretty strong. Uh, no thank you.
bunch of pills everywhere. Um, let's see. Yes. And no to everything else. Here's our boss. Spiders are doing most of the work for me here. Ah, get that foot out of here! Get that foot out of here, woman! Yes! Okay, we got our boss rush. Let's see if we got anything good. Triple shot. Oh, that actually is fairly good. I'm gonna do it. Just because we had a high tears up value. And it does allow us to do some pretty hefty damage. Though, due to our friend Leo here, we have completely no abilities to hide behind anything. Queen is in her little walking cycle. We've got a nice piece of red poop in the middle. I let PP hit me there. Stop jumping, man. PP should be about dead. Whoa, Loki! Man, 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 you guys are aggressive today. Man, that was aggressive. Kinda worried, kinda worried, kinda worried, but we can do this. Whoa, Gemini! You, uh, you're looking a little apart there today. Okay, kill Larry Jr. We're nice and quick. Oosh. I didn't quite mean to fart on you to kill you there, but it worked. That's what I mean. That little item buy right there was actually a pretty strong upgrade to our damage potential, but the only unfortunate thing is we're still missing a couple things just to make this a strong run. I can pr pretty sure I can kill Isaac with this, though. Whoa, hi! Jeez! Chill! Chill with the leaping, man! No, I like you and all that, but man, cool it! Chubb, there goes Chubb, there goes Gertie, good timing, and here comes the worst part. I've got myself the advantage of a lot of room. gonna die first. Gizzer Mantra 2. This is a lot of jumping. Ouch! Blood laser. I was wondering when he was going to do that. Did I kill him? 
got Monster 2 first, I think. Yes, I did. Okay, we got Pin and... I think Pin surfaced up underneath the red poop and just, like, instantly exploded there. Which is great, because I don't like dealing with Pin. I think after this is going to be Infamy and Bloat, which is going to be probably challenging. But we can do this. Woo, hi. Come on. Easy time, easy go. Easy come, easy go. Yes! Infamy and blow. Back. If I could just get Infamy to just come with me. Trying to trick the bloat here into killing infamy. Or at the very least, just getting infamy nice and low for me. Which he did. There goes infamy. Famine and War, we're coming up on the home stretch, which is the Riders of the Apocalypse. Don't know if I can use the terrain to my advantage when fighting. I can use that red poop to my advantage with death and war, but... I know I normally go for war f death first, but I'm gonna go for war today. Because it gives me plenty of room to worry about death's sights, which there they are. Boy, stop it! Man, you got so many of those. Well, I got death to his easy part, but I'm very low on HP. Death is my biggest worry when doing this part. Well, there goes the head of the horseman. As long as the fallen doesn't seem to get too interested in what I'm doing here, go. That takes care of the boss rush. Not that bad overall. And we get the quarter. Thank you, game. Love ya. Let's go. So far, you've got nothing useful out of the devil room. Our space baritum is weak-ish, but we at least have the power to do things now. And power is the first step to beating the game. I kind of wish I could do the chest with this. There's so many interesting synergies that I can unlock at this point. Ow. Well, that sort of worked. Oh, that was the AI fix. They're now, they pop out of the ground, then they shoot now. I'm just gonna poop my bombs out in there, because I don't need them. Got some red poops. Medium poop, now a dead poop, now another dead poop. Okay, easy come, easy go. Just stay away from me. Thank you. I can use Chocolate Milk's rapid fire effect as effectively a wall in rooms like that. Super, super dead. Ooh, this is going to get hectic fast. Boom, 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 boom. Chocolate Milk's spread shot is just kind of destroying this. See, I got spreading chocolate milk. I'm glad I picked it up. Get nothing of use. Avoid the red poop. Oof! Oh, I had one on my face. That explains a lot. Uh, you're annoying. There we are. Jim. I 
So there you go. I'm sitting here going, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Just can't see anything. I guess that was a tinted rock. I will never complain about a tinted rock. Get that. I will complain about not being able to pick up bombs, though. Do a little secret room checking. Ooh, I forgot that I had filled that room with bombs. Oh, there's our secret room. Luck down, 48 hour energy. Hematomesis could be useful, bombs are key. Hematomesis essentially can give us some nice hearts if we're nearly dead. I don't know what's in the floor. Oh boy. Process of elimination now. I look kinda weird, but I don't I have made much, much, much worse monstrosities in this game. This is a pretty tame power run though. Oops. That was intelligent. Oh boy. Oh, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, that was interesting. Here's our boss. Yeah, our damage is good and strong. Go get an angel room. Oh, pfft. oops. Well, uh, that's not really what I intended for. Oh, yeah, that's right. You shoot those directionals. Well, I'll take the key, because why not? But that was not my intention. So this item gives us overtime invincibility, which I suppose is useful. We'll take it. When active, we no longer take damage. Although I can't even tell when it's active. Ah! Evil room. I should have just used Breath of Life there. I gotta remember that it's like a tap to avoid damage item. I should have saved that. You know, we don't have any use for these. The game apparently has no use for us doing anything with it either. At least I got a spirit heart out of the ordeal. I don't want Skatol. Nothing really to that room. I love Lump of Coal right now, because I can just push things with that huge amount of tear burst. Oh, God blast it! These evil rooms! life would allow us to be invincible for a moment, but apparently walking over spikes, I still damage myself. So what do I do with this thing? So what, what does it protect from then? Two of spades, I'll take some free keys. Well, what does it do then? If it doesn't protect my face. My beautiful, fuzzy face. 
ding. Big fluffy unicorns dancing on the rain. Oh jeez, this is not a good room. Luckily I'm fast. God, I remember a room like that in Sheol. So we get to fight It Lives. Get a shot off on It Lives. Exceptionally well, I could probably do Mega Satan with this. Oops. Come on, you want to give me an HP up? You know you do. Key. Heart. Come on. Heart. I'll oh, pay. Hey, all the hearts are useful. Judge, lest you be judged as being amazing today. Come on, Judgment. Keep, keep giving, keep giving! I wish I had Dark Bomb right now. Holy moly! That's not really gonna do anything for me. I'll keep him into Mesis. Whoops. Oh well. At least I have a full heart left in here. Hi, dude. Bye. That was quick. And we found Blue Baby. Not Blue Baby, Isaac. So I'm just going to run out my coins here because I don't really have any other use for them. Maybe I can get a pretty fly. This is just so I take don't take damage from getting hit. Actually, I've got a heart right behind me, so we can just kind of run this out. Oh, we had a good thing going there. Now I gotta walk into it every single time. <laughs> we get the hundred dollar bill. All right, let's fight Isaac. That's some pretty solid damage. And of course, I have little Gish so I can slow him. Oh god. But then again, also, I could take a bunch of horrible damage. What is hitting me randomly? What was hitting me randomly? I was. I wasn't being counter shot by Isaac. I wasn't walking into his tears save more than twice. What was destroying me? I was just like getting hit constantly. Well, I'm mad. That's going to conclude this run on a not so fun note. I've been the Void Talon. Thanks for joining me, and as always, I will see you in the next video.